what you really need to do as a director, you know, you what I always say is like with any issue, like I have a lot of medical issues with my son, right? Like any challenge that you have, like I have um, things, you know, I'm, I want to buy a house. Like I'm not an expert in those areas of mortgages and real estate or medical. I don't, I'm not, I don't have a medical degree. My philosophy is, and this is the advice I give districts is, I surround myself with people who I trust and who my go-to people. I have my go-to people for my medical issues for my son. I have a, I've just created a team of people that I trust, that I want to work with to help me navigate the real estate market, right? And, I, and my, 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 my recommendations and advice to, to school districts is to, you know, find those you know, find those people a lot, you know, some, you know, some of them from within, but, you know, also outside. Find an attorney that you can work with. Paul has a reputation for not steering you down a path of, you know, spending $200,000 on a case where you're bet you're going to definitely 100% lose. You know, Paul's a very reasonable attorney. That's what I tell districts a lot of times. And you want to find, you know, somebody that's going to be able to work with you. You know, I've heard from directors sometimes they say, well, I call my district attorney and they say they they don't they don't give me a direct answer or they don't really give me two options or the other side they tell me what to do and i don't necessarily agree with it i mean it should be a working relationship right and that's one of the things you want to look for you got to surround yourself especially in the age that we live in and all the litigation and all the challenges uh you want to really find uh, an attorney or an expert and consultants that you can trust that you're your go-to people and that's why I like the relationships that I build you know in school districts because they call me with all kinds of questions you know they trust me which is great you know and but you have to you have to find that and what I find a lot of times is they don't want to call their attorney because they don't want the bill to go up right so did you call your attorney about this and then by that time it's too late where if they just would have reached out and picked up the phone or maybe used one of those support people and ran it by somebody they could have avoided themselves a lot of aggravation and headaches. And not only that, but <clears throat> there's often, uh, there's a lot of questions you have to ask when seeking the right legal team and the, the resources around you. You want to find out if there are any ins accidental dual relationships because that unduly, I mean, that could influence the outcome of something without even realizing. You have to ask a lot of questions. It's all about the questions they ask. I mean, uh, you, know, you know, someone like Paul may ask, just like he asked in, in that proceeding whether or not the, uh, the evaluation has been written exactly the same for previous evals. Like, you have to ask questions about the representation, such as, you know, how many times have you sent this learners to the same exact school with the same exact recommendation? And all of a sudden you find out they were previously employed by that private school or that they have some sort of payment arrangement historically with that or you they know, sat on the board of trustees. They sat on the board. board. Yep. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff. Again, it goes back to living by good principles and the golden rule. You know, you, you just you want to make good principle based decisions. And although there's all these variables that you have to navigate, sharks in the waters. I mean, make really good clinical, legal decisions and leadership decisions. And I think for the most part, most administrative law judges see through the BS, the good ones, yep. and see that you're trying to make a decision in the right interest of the learner. Mm -hmm.